when you were going through the source material, did you ever have like an aha moment where you definitely knew, you're like, this is definitely going to be two movies? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there was no question. There's like a clear moment at which you should stop one story and move into the other. And it's weird because the movies are really different from each other. Mm -hmm. um, and while still reflecting the book, you know, that first movie is so much about like Bella's journey from the Bella that we know, who's, who's you know, that high school girl to becoming a vampire, you know? Mm -hmm. That's that's a big, long journey for one movie, you know? Um, and then the second movie of like the experience of being a vampire and then having to face every other vampire across the globe to defend this this uh, child, you know, mm -hmm. is its own film, definitely. Sure. And, and you have a background in horror films yeah. and, and kind of a darker material, but that being said, um, you're working with books that fans know so well. They know all the details. That's right. How do you bring kind of suspense and, and a look and a feel from your background into these films? Well, that's, you know, it's the challenge, but it's also funny, you know, when, when um, I don't want to give anything away, but definitely like those big moments, like they make love for the first time or they get married. You want to, because everyone knows what's coming, as a movie maker, you can kind of play with, and it's like, oh, oh, that's what it is. Oh, it isn't that. You know what I mean? It's like playing, having fun with those expectations. Are you can only do when you've got people who are that, like knowledgeable. You know that uh, your your name and your face has been associated with this franchise. Is there a weird place that that people have recognized you? A weird place? <laughs> yeah. You know, what? I had one very strange, like, kind of odd thing. I was at a Santana concert. <laughs> And for some reason, I think there must be some crossover between like Santana fans and either Twilight or particularly Wolfpack fans. I'm not really sure, but I've never had like a pro like an issue in public <laughs> before yeah. the Santana concert. <laughs> and, and, and they're like, "You're the in the what are I you doing?" I was so here? surprised. I was like, "I think you. Who are you?" What, I, and then it happened enough, and I was like, "Wait, no. There's something going on. This is a theme." <laughs> so now, next time I go to a Santana Gantz concert, I gotta, gotcha. gotta know. And um, were there any particular set pieces or costume pieces that you uh, that you kind of had your eye on when everything wrapped up? You're like, oh, that's the thing I want. Um, I, I mean, I, I really, really, like, legitimately would wear my characters cut off shorts, like, on a daily basis. <laughs> and she's got a lot of them, so I really should have been able <laughs> to, like, take one. But. Yeah, I mean, I've had really strange experiences because I, I live a very low-key lifestyle. Like, I don't really go out a lot. I'm not really on the scene in Hollywood. So, like, there's been times where I've been on a random hike somewhere out of town. And somebody's like, oh, my God, it's Esme! <laughs> and I'm like, you're right. <laughs> I'm always shocked that anyone recognizes me. I just don't feel like that person. So, I, it's always a, a real surprise to me. Sure. And um, you guys all wrapped uh, filming at different times. Obviously, the uh, you know saying goodbye to this entire franchise has you know it's got to be bittersweet. But for you, how did you find closure? How did you like kind of shut the book when it came to, to actually shooting the thing? Well, I had Peter Facinelli and I wrapped at the at the same time, and we were just hugging, and we were both very shocked. I think it was a surreal experience. It was a seven month long shoot all over you know different locations and. We went and had a bite to eat at this little restaurant that we loved in Vancouver, and we were the only two that were, were had been wrapped that night, so we just went by ourselves, and then we met up with Jackson later, and we were all just kind of dumbfounded. You know, I don't, it hadn't really settled, the, the, the idea of it. It just, we couldn't almost believe it. We thought, no, 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 we're going to get called back tomorrow for something yeah. else, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's a call to arms on Facebook. Oh, we'll, we'll show up then. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there. What kind of roles do you want to take on now? I really want to take on like a, a small, uh, smaller, maybe more psychological sort of or comedy, something really crazy and and hard, something very challenging in whatever genre that is. I'd like to, you know, be challenged but not be, you know. I think being in such a huge franchise is it's unlike any other experience. You know, the the amount of pressure and the amount of money and the hugeness of the sets and stuff is so amazing and you can't get over it. But I think I'd, I'd like to take a little break from that and do something maybe small or maybe do a series, like a television show. I think some of the best writing, you know, almost all of the best writing I think is in television right now. So I think that's where, you know, the, those characters are just so rich and that's where I would like to maybe work.